I fed my lawn rice and cardboard. The results in 30 days will shock you. The real problem with modern lawn care is that traditional lawn care has become an expensive cycle. Synthetic fertilizers, constant watering, and endless weed control. Not only does it drain your wallet, but it also harms the very soil your grass depends on. Chemicals disrupt the balance of beneficial microbes, creating a dependency loop where your lawn always needs more fertilizer just to stay green. That's where this unconventional duo, cardboard and rice, comes in. This method revives your lawn from the ground up, quite literally. It feeds the soil, not just the grass, creating a thriving underground ecosystem that naturally supports long-term growth and resilience. Step 1. The Cardboard Foundation Start with your base layer. Plain, untreated cardboard. No glossy prints, no tape, no plastic coatings. Lay it directly over your lawn or soil surface, overlapping the edges by at least 2 inches. Think of it as a breathable blanket for your yard. Cardboard plays two critical roles. First, it blocks sunlight from reaching weeds, smothering them naturally without herbicides. Second, as it slowly decomposes, it becomes a rich carbon source, improving soil structure and water retention. Beneath the cardboard, soil organisms like earthworms and microbes go into overdrive, breaking it down and enriching the soil with organic matter. Water the cardboard thoroughly after laying it down, around one gallon of water per square yard, so it starts softening and bonding with the soil below. This helps lock in moisture and encourages immediate microbial activity. Step 2. Feeding the soil with rice. Now, here's where the magic really begins. Take raw, uncooked rice, about 2 cups per square yard, and spread it evenly across the top of the wet cardboard. You don't need anything fancy. Plain white or brown rice works perfectly. Why rice? Because it's packed with starches, trace minerals, and organic compounds that soil microbes absolutely love. As it breaks down, Rice becomes a slow-release nutrient source, feeding beneficial bacteria and fungi that naturally improve nitrogen levels and soil fertility. Lightly mist the rice with half a gallon of water per square yard to start the decomposition process. Within days, microbial activity will increase dramatically beneath the surface. You're essentially creating a living compost layer, one that works invisibly while you go about your day. Step 3 is the protective top layer. Once the rice is in place, go ahead and cover it with a thin layer of topsoil, compost, or even grass clippings, about half an inch thick. This step, you know, really helps conceal the materials, keeps pests away, and maintains consistent moisture. From the surface, your lawn looks completely normal, but underneath, the transformation has already begun. The 30-Day Transformation Now. Let's talk results. In the first week, you'll notice fewer weeds emerging and your soil staying damp longer between waterings. By the second week, microbial activity spikes. If you were to take a closer look, you'd see richer, darker soil and even more earthworm tunnels forming beneath the surface. By day 30, the payoff is visible. Your lawn begins to thicken, color deepens, and bare spots start filling in naturally. Grass grows stronger and stands more upright, thanks to improved root health. The soil becomes softer and easier to work with, holding moisture better without staying soggy. At Soil and Crops Central, we tested this method over multiple lawns, and every time, the 30-day results were consistent. Healthier turf, minimal weeds, and soil that felt alive again. Six months later, sustainable growth that lasts, Fast forward half a year and this simple method proves its staying power. Lawns treated with the cardboard and rice hack retain more moisture, reducing watering needs by nearly a third. The cardboard's gradual decomposition continues to feed the soil, while the microbial population stabilizes into a self-sustaining ecosystem. Because the nutrients are released slowly, there's no risk of overfeeding or burning your grass like synthetic fertilizers often do. And since you're not adding chemicals, you completely eliminate the risk of harmful runoff entering storm drains or waterways. The result is a greener, denser, and more eco-friendly lawn that costs almost nothing to maintain. 
This approach is more than just a temporary hack. It's a shift toward regenerative lawn care. You're not fighting against nature anymore. You're working with it. Addressing common questions. Some people worry this method might attract pests or create a smell, but that's only true if it's done incorrectly. When covered properly with topsoil or compost, the rice breaks down cleanly, producing no odor. As for pests, the moisture and microbial balance actually deter most unwanted insects, while attracting beneficial ones that help aerate the soil naturally. Another common concern is appearance. Once you've covered the setup, your yard looks completely normal from day one. The only visible change will be the deeper green and improved texture of your grass over time. The future of lawn care. This simple hack proves that nature already gives us everything we need to grow a beautiful, thriving lawn. No chemicals, no complex machinery, and no recurring costs. Cardboard and rice might seem like an odd combination, but together they create the perfect foundation for long-term soil health and lasting beauty. If you've been searching for a cheaper, safer, and more sustainable way to care for your yard, this is it. It's simple, it's science-backed, and it works. So go ahead, grab that old cardboard, scoop some rice from your kitchen, and start your transformation today. Your lawn and the planet will thank you for it. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central, hit that like button, and share this video with someone who's tired of expensive, chemical-heavy lawn care. Let's keep growing greener, smarter, and more naturally, one yard at a time.